What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here, and Merry Christmas, everybody. And today, it's going to be kind of like an update video kind of thing. I'll get to some things. Um, yeah, some pretty cool things are going on in the Squirrels world right now, and I will get to those things. And I'll note that it is like kind of like vacation time for me right now from school, so I am like going places. Um, I am trying to record enough videos um, beforehand so I can continue the daily uploads um, but don't be alarmed if like I miss a day here and there over the next couple of weeks because I'm probably not dead if that happens but you never know so uh, yeah I think I'll have like a rank match video or something tomorrow because I'm just behind Donkey74 for number one. Oh, actually this last Sunday me and Donkey74 were tied for number one on the ladder we both had like an 1868 rating we were tied we bo it both said it said number one and number one for both of us. But his name was on top of mine for reasons I don't know. Probably just because D comes before N in the alphabet. And he ended up getting number one on the weekly winners. And I got number two. Um, I know I can't be too mad about that considering I already have the cape. Um, I think it would be like my eighth or seventh number one in the latter week. But um, if there ever is going to be a leaderboard for these things, um, I'm going to want an extra number one. And it's also like a 500 gold difference for the reward. So I'm not too mad about that, but I mean, it might happen to somebody else where two people are actually competing for the cape. But yeah. So, and that's another week where people aren't seeing my moderator badge because I have a weekly winner. Which is a bit annoying because nobody asked me questions. So I, I want to be a moderator that people come to to ask questions. And here we go. So, one thing that's going on first, I'll touch on the golden bunnies. Um... Billy No Mates and Superb Simone uh, put that together. It's kind of like Scrolls end of year uh, award show, kind of. Um, just recognizing um, the best community members or players of the year. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description to go cast your vote on that. There's a bunch of pretty cool categories. It's very tough to make your decision, and I hope everybody votes. And the second thing here is the pre-constructed deck uh, design competition. So you can go to scrolls.com for detailed details on that. I'll have a uh, link in the description below. In this video, I'm, I think I'm just gonna show you guys my decks I designed. So basically what it is, is every every expansion to scrolls so far, um, right? Every expansion, yeah, I think so, yeah. Each expansion of scrolls, like the Decay release added the Decay de de uh, Constructed Deck, the Judgment release added Tiny Feet and Machine Doom to the store. The Rebellion release came out with these four champion pre construction decks, but there was nothing for waypoints if you didn't notice. So, uh, what uh, community managers and stuff they're doing is setting up a competition where the players like us can design the scrolls design the decks and submit them and then people can vote on them and stuff like that and you can there's six decks that are going to be chosen one for each faction for a mono deck and then there's going to be a decay growth deck and an order energy deck because those are the two kind of dual resource decks that haven't been in the store so uh yeah and it'd be pretty cool to get your deck in the store so I made one for each and submitted them. So if I if you like them what I show you, then you can go ahead onto um, the link in the description and you can click on like show decks and then you can vote for mine if you like if you want them to be in the game. Um, but here we go. So I guess I'll start with the mono decks I made. Um, this is the order deck I made, Knights of Escalon. A big part of this is not. Pre-construction decks aren't supposed to be good, right? They're just supposed to be... They're supposed to have a theme. They're supposed to be fun. They're supposed to have a lot of different scrolls for your collection. And the main thing with these, you have to have a lot of, like, set six scrolls. Like, requirements where you can't have... You can't have more than eight rares, more than 18 uncommons, and you have to have at least 20 waypoints scrolls. So this is what I came up with order. Um, the theme is... The, obviously, the big theme for waypoints with order was not a lot of knights were coming out, so... It was a pretty easy choice to go with like a knight kind of deck, and um, I didn't. I, I gave a, a lot of variety of creatures. I think 
Um, I tried to stick with Order's theme of like royalty, empire, and like religion. So I have like the faith scrolls in here. And then I stuck in like royal banners, Effigy of the Queen, Banner of Orders. I feel like that all goes with like the kings and queens of the empire and all that stuff. Royal inspirations, I have three of those. So you gotta be careful on what scrolls you include three of because um, you don't want to include like three rares and they just have to buy this pre-constructed deck to fill their collection for that for those three rares so yeah and i said i call this deck knights of escalon um not really that creative name escalon is the name of escalon spires and if you look on the scrolls world map that was released escalon is presumed to be where the order empire is i was looking for a better word than is there but it didn't come to me Alright, so the next deck that I made was um, Energy. Where is this? Deerin? I'm supposed to say Deerian. Uh, I'm not sure. So, this is my Energy deck for the Precon competition. I chose, I, I called it Deerian Delinquents because, like, like Escalon Sires, Escalon, Knights of Escalon. Um, in the Scrolls World map, the energy section is called Dira, D Y R R A. So comment below: Is it supposed to be if if something if a place is called Dira, do you think the like uh, people there would be called Dirins or Dirians? I don't know. I think Dirian sounds a little better, but somebody in the comments probably knows what it should be. Um, but yeah, this obviously. Like, Knights were the big theme for order in waypoints. The Grave Locks were the big uh, theme for energy in waypoints. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of that stuff. Uh, I think that's pretty good, considering I, added, I have two Elders and two Freaks. I'm not really much to say. A lot of gimmicky scrolls like Blast Strikes, Snargle Brain, Desperation, Redesign, Kuro, just to have some fun. Um... Really not much else to say with it. Um, just like a pretty weak Gravelock deck. That could be a good way to get that in the store and boost your Gravelock collection. Oh yeah, another I forgot to say, another rule for the Precon deck competition was you have to have at least 20 creatures in the deck. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about Dirian Delinquents. I call it Delinquents. I feel like I feel like the Gravelocks are like kind of like Delinquents. Uh, delinquent means like they're like a wild like rascal kind of thing um so these guys might be like breaking the Deerian law running rampant and you have to harness their power and together as one they provide quite a force and the next deck growth earthen protectors now i have to say that growth probably had the least um the least distinct theme in waypoints. Like the other three factions all had like a set theme, like Brave Locks, Knights, and Undead. This was I mean it had some beasts, it had some like want like nice humans, it was kinda all over the place. Um but I tied this deck together by using as these are all defenders of the earth. I call the deck Earthen Protectors. Um I have all the Earth kind of scrolls in here, I have the Earth Bond, Earthen Testament. Um, and yes, growth has lots to do with nature and stuff. Um, I have like here, these guys will defend the earth to the last day and stop decay from corrupting it and energy from like putting machines everywhere and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty simple deck. It's kind of like aggro growth. Uh, I mean, it does go up to six, but it's, it's pretty aggro. Has some nice enchantments have to do with earth, like unground. And yeah, I guess there's not much else to say. Um, yeah. So moving on. Now the ha we have the dual resource decks. Um, first, I'll go through the decay growth one. I call mine clandestine corruption. As you know, clandestine is the name for this lingering spell that came out in waypoints. Oh yeah, a big over overarching theme in waypoints was lingering spells. So I, I made sure to include a couple of these in every deck. 
So clandestine orchard, um, it's kind of like a growth thing, a nature thing. And then I combined it with decay's corruption to create clandestine corruption. And who doesn't love alliterations? So it's kind of like Irva, like, and her decay forces took over the growth forests, and now their rat army is like even stronger. I don't know, junkyards are actually really good. Navi is plus one attack and plus one health. So, and then Unforeseen Onslaught is a pretty fun deck, a little gimmicky with Southern Forms. Has some undead aspects to it. Uh, I mean, the dual resources decks won't be as good as the mono decks, probably. But they're pretty fun. You can get decent scrolls from them. So you can just play the rats, and then you have some poison. Poison actually in growth, too. And then you have your ramp scrolls erode and return to nature to make the ramp a little bit easier, even though it's still pretty tough to keep to keep tempo and ramp into both both factions. That's why uh, most of the growth curve is pretty low. Um, it does go up, has two scrolls that are four, but I mean, racking is pretty good in this deck if there's junkyards. So yeah, and last but not least is my energy order dual resource deck. I call it Relentless Tempo. It's basically what it is, is it takes energies, melee creatures, and buffs them up and gives them cool gimmicky spells from order. And uh, it's a lot about like rel relentless with like raiders, machination mindset, and uh, yeah, machination mindset is really nice in this deck. And like, I call it relentless tempo for two means relentless is not only a scrolls trait, but it's also just a word to describe just like ongoing non-stopping like attacks kind of so yeah the other the other multi-resource deck i made um the clandestine corruption was more 50 50 split between growth and energy growth and case rules this is a uh, more in favor of energy it has a good a lot of a lot of order order gimmicky scrolls though like no order creatures in this deck um and i pretty much described it how it is a lot of energy melee creatures um, and a lot of countdown reduction from energy and order and all these attack buffs for the relentless guys like Ravelock Raider you can get machination mindset on your solemn giant uh, so that is that is about it so those are the six decks I made f for the pre-constructed deck design competition so if you like them uh, go go to the page where it shows you the decks and you get you can get them vote up um, and then the judges will take a closer look at them and see if they can be fit for the game or you can try to make your own decks um, they're pretty fun deck building is a part of scrolls that is really cool so I suggest you all try to make your own decks and I have to delete this thing because I added the eye there and uh yeah and don't forget to go ahead and vote for scrollgers in the golden bunnies awards link in the description for that as well so that'll be it for today like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content and i will see you all next time thanks for watching